floodwaters. A week of wet weather has submerged much of Pearl River County, but for longtime residents, it's nothing new. Yeah, this is something that we have to deal with. I mean, actually, they, um, they repaired it to where, you know, it wouldn't flood as bad, but I mean, it's been raining like, all week, so. Parts of Liberty Road like this are still impassable for most vehicles, but it didn't stop some locals from having fun or for trying. Oh, it's, it's been a lot worse than this before. But while some were enjoying the water, others were not. Right. You can see, this is my yard. Dyson recently moved to this old church on Holden Road in Poplarville. Well, see, I come here yesterday and we couldn't get in because when we opened the doors up there, it, it had three foot of water inside the building. After being forced to stay the night elsewhere, he came home Saturday to assess the damage. They got up in the kitchen. Got up in the house, got in the air and stuff around. Water come all the way up to that line there. Although the rainfall has generally subsided, many rivers around the county are still expected to flood. The Pearl River is about one foot above flood, but it's expected to reach five feet or more above flood when it crests on Tuesday. So unfortunately for Dyson and many others, the worst may be yet to come. Reporting in Pearl River County, Bess Casterly, WLOX, News Now.